Hi there, I'm the girly. So a number of you linked me to the trailer for an upcoming movie, A Matter of Faith. Presumably because you hate me. Something about this year has seen an influx in Christian movies. Not something I actually mind by itself. I can enjoy the odd religious film because I still think of them as works of fiction. Stories about the resurrection of Jesus, Noah's flood, Adam and Eve is told by Nicolas Cage. You get my point. They all feel like they're just trying to convey a story, belief being a subjective factor reserved for each viewer. But some of the hyped recent releases have taken a distinctly different tone. What's the word I'm looking for? A little manipulate-y? Indoctrinate-y? brainwash It's been a shit flood of disinformation and propaganda, all right? But maybe this movie is different. Maybe it won't take a biased, uninformed approach. Let's give it a chance. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to answer the age-old question. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? The chicken. Scientists from Scotland and England decided to tackle this one some years ago, working with a British academic national supercomputer named Hector. They were able to study the makeup of an egg to resolve what was necessary for the egg to form in the first place. Their studies concluded that an egg needed a particular protein to allow for its formation, said protein being sourced to chickens. Now, the study never explained how the chicken got there in the first place, which might mean that at some point in the past there was likely a creature not quite chicken that, through mating and diversity over time, developed into present-day chicken. So, the more accurate question might be what came first, the proto-chicken or the proto-egg, but you know what, I'm no scientist and my knowledge is basic, so if you have a better idea or theory, hey, share it in the comments. One of the hardest things for a father is when it comes time to send his little girl off to college. Hey, while we're on the subject of species diversity, how about we introduce some creative diversity all up in there? Are you guys just pulling it all out of the same collective hat? All right, let's see what we're working with here. The setting is a school. The main character is... An unrealistically sugary good caricature wearing a skin suit. Who did you kill to get those? <laughs> and I'm preempting the antagonist as... An unrealistically shallow, callous cunt not found in this reality or the next. We'll see how it scores. Biology. Did you get Cayman? Complex life forms evolved from simpler life forms. All right, you heard it here first, folks. An egg is a separate life form from which the chicken evolved. Just like a fetus is a separate life form from which a human being evolved. No. If you're going to make a movie attacking evolution, it might help to know the definition of the fucking word. Evolution is the process by which different kinds of living organisms are thought to have developed and diversified from earlier forms during the history of Earth. Five seconds. Five seconds on Google to spare a colossal fuck-up injected straight into the core of this movie, right up the ass of your entire argument. Nice work. Hey, what did you think about what Professor Kamen was just saying? She's one of the cutest freshmen you've seen. Just calling to get your topic for the October debate. I really like all of my instructors, especially my biology teacher, Professor Kamen. He's a riot. He's applying actual empirical evidence, science, and reason to try to understand life. What a riot. He should just base all his opinions from the sound and informed position of what my daddy told me. Although considering the guy has the most tenuous grasp of his own subject, I can sort of see the funny. The guy's an evolutionist, and there's nothing in the whole course description about biblical creation as even a plausible alternative. How dare he use biology class to teach biology? Hi there, I'm Miss Gurley, your chemistry teacher. Today we're going to learn about the complex chemical reaction as observed in the creation of Adam and Eve. All our public schools and universities teach evolution as the answer to the origins of life. Don't you think Professor Kamen has some good concepts? He could be right. Have you ever seen that thing that Kamen does where he shows how we all came from apes? Life comes from life. It doesn't come from non-life. Evolution versus creationism, what do you say? I say what does one have to do with the other. The latter claims origins of life from a biblical source, the former doesn't actually have anything to do with the origins of life in the first place. 
Evolution is not an explanation of origin, it's an examination of biodiversity, for fuck's sakes! You're trying to argue something from a completely biased, uninformed position, and you don't even understand there's no argument there to be had! Come on! <coughs> yeah, hi, I'd like to order a pizza. <coughs> this is a bookstore? <coughs> I want to talk to your manager, you're oppressing me! Honestly. This feels like some kind of bitter throwback to the Nye and Ham debate, like the latter went home crying and this movie is the overture stink bomb left on Nye's doorstep as a result. You debating Professor Kamen is not gonna solve anything. This guy stands against everything that we believe in. What are you doing, man? What did you tell him? I'm not interested. Do you know how embarrassing this is gonna be for me? Welcome everyone to our debate tonight. Wasn't the Bible written by man? Yes, it was. Then how does that make it the word of God? And you do believe in your viewpoint, don't you? Wow, is it me or was the ending a bit out of the ballpark? I'm getting mixed signals because that almost felt like this trailer was a put on. Wouldn't that be nice if this actually turned out to be a movie about the dangers of introducing faith as a form of science? I mean, it would be nice if the teacher knew what the fuck he was talking about. But aside from that, this film could really go either way. Nope, just a defense against critical thinking. Sorry, my bad. 